Today I'll show you how I use Logsig for personal use. Hey friends, welcome back to my voice. Because you requested this, few of them at least asked me to make more videos about Logsig. I'll try to do just that. And I will try to show you how I'm using personally Logsig for my private life and maybe also for my uh, content creation life. Let me just start with saying that I tried many systems before, like Asana, Notion, and many others that I forgot their name. Fortunately, found something that I got stuck to it and it's Logsig. Before that, I used quite a lot notion but the only thing that prevented me to using it even more and not settle for it and look forward to try to find something else it was the fact that unfortunately in notion i was always feeling this hurt to custom things all the time there was always a better template to make or a better view to make or more filters to add and so on and this unfortunately i was focusing and wasting more time in actually tailoring the system itself instead of just using it and being productive and that's exactly what logsic does for me in logsic i am very productive and that's why i love it because it has a rigid structure that of course you can tailor and so on but i try to keep it very simple i stick to the basic and at the same time it also allows you to have some chaos in your life but if you want to organize things it's also very simple and that's why I love Logsic and since I'm using it, I think I started to use it close to one year ago. If I'm not mistaken, Evelio recommended it to me. Thank you very much Evelio for your recommendation. I really like the software and I'm very, very productive with it and I plan to keep using it. So now with that out of our way, let's have a look at how I'm using it. And because today is a special day for me, today is birthday of my son. He just became eight years old. So congratulations, Rafael, if you will watch this video in the future. Uh, let's use that as a starting point because we can uh, create some tasks around that because we have some tasks to do today about that. Here, I can, as you can see, I started from scratch with a new graph. I, I started from scratch, right? And if you go to logsig.com, you will find this tool that you can download. It's for free and open source, of course, right? I have the paid plan, like $5 I pay a month, I contribute just so I can sync it across all my devices. But you don't need to do that. Like, if you are using only on your computer or you can also try to use with google drive or icloud if you have an iphone but the best is actually with github if possible because sometimes it doesn't really work as it's supposed to be with the google drive and other cloud services so that's why i just want to have this function working because i'm using it on my phone as well and i would like also to contribute to the project because i using it and i get a lot of value from it and yeah i would like to support the projects that are making my life better so i will try to keep it very simple i will not dive deep into many other things when you start here you start with like journals this is the default section journals and this every new day you get a new date here which is this title and then blank block where you can start creating whatever you want right you can also create pages separately here as i showed you in the very 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 briefly introduction of logsic but let's stick to this right so what i love about logsic is that i just can throw ideas at it no matter if there are tasks or just reminders or maybe some learning lessons that i got from a video or something like that so you can organize this pretty well but if you don't want like what i recommend to everyone starting is to just start using it and just typing in here you will start organizing things afterward because that's actually quite easy to do and let's say that today i want to remember something i want to make this video and to send it to my video editor right so let's say logsic video and here i just wrote this and i click enter right and now there are some things that i want to do about this and i press on tab and now i get a block that is belonging to this block right so now if i click on this arrow right here it will hide everything right and now if i uh, do something else by for a cake or Raphael for example this is going to be but here and you can see that we don't see that because uh, that's collapsed right but we can open it and see it again and there it is let's see send it to video editor for example prepare title prepare for scheduling for example here I can have other more details which are like say title description tags something like that so you get an idea how I plan my videos. Sometimes I even uh, prepare some text, but uh, not for uh, this one. So here, let's say Raphael's birthday. And now what I can do, I can drag this block, which is on top of it or above it, right? I can drag it. And if I put it here, it will be just below. But if I go a bit to the right, you will see that this line, straight line has moved a little bit to the right, right? And now if I do that, this will go exactly and belong here. And let's say that I want to have it more neat. Then I do that and it's going to be easier to understand. Okay, if I want to only for what I have for Raphael today, then this is the list, right? Something even nicer. Let's say that you have here and you have a lot of things. You can also click on this dot right here 
if you click here you will be directed to that block so you will see only things related to that block you will not see anything else and to go back you go here to journals right go back to journals so yeah let's say that we have this now this is just text right now right but if i want for this to become a task i would click on command and enter and you can see that actually it did not get converted to a task but this is later and that's because every time when you create a new graph in uh, logsic it starts with that approach which is let's have a look where is it yeah it's here and you can choose like by default it has now and later but i like to use to do and doing because then everything is just not something that I would use later, but it's a task. And then when I'm working on a task, if I want to track that, you can uh, learn uh, and measure the time you are uh, using on tasks. You just click on that to do. And I'll just switch to that. And we can see that in this case, it did not change yet. So what do I do? I click more times on this, right? You see now it has been changed to now and now done. I'm still pressing on command. I'm not uh, letting it go because it will show crossed if i do that now i'll switch back to text right now it's again the text and i one more time i do and it's going to show like a to do and the same here these are to do's you can of course do uh, in group like i select all these lines here and i uh, hold on command and enter i guess on windows is control enter i'm not sure though you see that i got all these to do's right and let's say that right now working on this is a task and like i said i can click here on the to do and we will see that now i'm working on this video right here and the time will get tracked as you can see here i i, I can see four seconds since i clicked on this now if i click on this and stop doing it we will see that it was on for 15 seconds right pretty neat i really love this by the way do not get scared about this interface you can customize it by plugins so by default your logic will not look at all like this but you can customize it by plugins and that's quite easy to find again in the settings and plugins right and here go to marketplace uh, here you can see the installed and here is the list of plugins that i have installed few of them i'm not using few of them are useful let me know if you think it would be interesting or cool for you to learn more about this leave me a comment and i'll maybe i'll make a video about all the plugins i'm using and here in marketplace you can see that these are ordered by their popularity and you can see that this this one has been downloaded over 100,000 times right this is how they are ordered and uh, here you can see the teams also these are the plugins and here are the teams and of course i have a, a team which i'm not sure which one it is oh if i look at here and the team yeah it's this one bonofix you got the one if you want it to, to look like uh, my screen then you use this theme and that's it you just click on install and that's it quite simple again i think i will stick to this i would not go deeper into this but this is what i do and when i'm done with this let's say i recorded the video i just click on this this icon this blue beginning of the line and what do you think it's recorded right and there you go so simple is actually and that's why i like it uh, so much tomorrow i will see another day here and so on and you will be able to scroll through this and find your tasks there are actually more things to this but again those are a bit more advanced like you can also schedule for a specific date a task that you want to do you can also prioritize your tasks but again if you would like to make a video about that please leave me a comment below so i'll try to do just that i hope this was helpful and maybe inspiring and yeah like i said please don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know and i'll catch you up in the next one. thank you very much